Hi, I'm Chris, and in this video, my team and I will tell you about the fourth year group design project, or GDP, at the University of Southampton, and what you can get out of it. In a GDP, you will work with a team of five or six to design, prototype, and test an engineered solution to a design problem. We proposed our own project, developing an initial idea within the team and with industry feedback. We used skills we had and new ones we learned to realise and test our design. The, one of the, my favourite aspects of doing something that no one's done before, it's new, it's cutting edge, it's what you came an engineer to do. I would say my favourite part of the project was using a design brief derived from industry requirements to then go through an iterative design process you know, using just basic hand sketches and then going on to use more advanced CAD modelling. Uh, software and then seeing the actual the birth of a physical product. I mean, that was my favourite part. I took the robotic system in my third year as one of my modules, uh, so it gave me a very fundamental knowledge and basic of how computer vision works. And so, with this project, it was a great opportunity to actually implement this knowledge. We took this this concept into a rapid prototype, which was made using three D printing. Uh, so that allows you to really quickly visualise how things go together the overall concept and then eventually commit to more substantial uh, prototyping techniques such as water jet cutting. Yeah, so technician time as well is also really valuable. So say in the EDMC, you can ask some advice on what you make from the best way of manufacturing it or any sort of problems you may have doing it a certain way. And that kind of practical advice is as much a learning experience as, as the theoretical side, isn't it? One of the biggest challenges I had was the development of these transferable skills and it was the opportunity to practice these skills such as project management, organisation, teamwork. And these are skills that you can't really be taught and you can only learn through experience. The main advantage of doing a GDP is it's pretty close to how an engineer would work in the industry. You're within a team, you've got deadlines to meet, you've got to work with individuals that you know, have different skill sets. So you've got to get all together to achieve a goal and the GDP is the best way of learning these skills.